beauty babes welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Bobby thank you for joining me today today we are doing a collaboration um, this is my first collaboration that I've put together and I am so excited um, we have 10 wonderful um, youtubers creators that are joining me in this collab we have Miss Debbie from Debutante we have Jessica Vargas um, at Makeup with Jessica Vargas, and I will try to pop the pictures in here if I can figure it out. We have Bethany from One Busy Mama. I have Sunny from Sunny's Place. Amanda Duh, of course. We have Joy Keeps You on Your Toes. And then we have Allie from Allie's Magical Insights. We have Mark, of course. Mark, I love Mark, you guys. His video is going to be late, but don't forget to check him out. He is amazing. And his um, is Glitz, M-U-A. And we have Sheila, the bling bling diva. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to get in this and show you guys my favorite 20 products from 2020. Now, I may have went over, but I'm going to cheat a little bit and put them into... Um, categories. <laughs> so I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and put them into categories like foundation. You'll see, you'll see. Okay, so the number one product that I have gotten the most use out of this year is my all-in-one blow dryer. Sorry, mine is gross. This is the one I used today. This is from Bedhead. I also have the Revlon one, which I love. Um, this one has the strongest blower so far. Um, so I love this one, then the Revlon, then the Foxy Bay is last. It's a little disappointing. It doesn't get as hot as this guy. This is what I use today to curl under my hair and get away the frizz and kind of silk shine everything out. The next item, items that are my favorite go along with the hair dryer. And that is the blow dry serum here from Keratos. And I will link up below if you need... And then the Keratos Genesis Hair Leave-In Spray. And this is a defense um, for thermal protection. It's fortifying blow-dry fluid. So I use this. Then I put in this, which is a blow-dry um, thermal responsible miracle reshaping heat lotion. And so this helps you reshape your hair after it's already dried the next day. And the third item I use is the blow dry cream from Keratos, also the same um, one as these two come from the same line. And so I just wanted to show you guys these. These are my first two items because I absolutely love these hair products and I can't really love, whoop, these are so hard to hold. I can't really love one without the other because I use them together and this is what makes my hair look like this. I switch up my shampoo and my hair treatments and conditioning treatments. So these guys are really what does it for me. Item is going to be a little bit different because it's what helps me take off my eye makeup at night. So I use the OcuSoft Lid Scrub Original. And this is just like a cleanser. It cleans, comforts, refreshes, and soothes relief for your eyes. This I started using when I had problems with... Um, like rosacea on my eyelids and stuff and I had irritation on my eyelids from different um, products I was using and then they have the OcuSoft original cleansing pads now these are awesome because they're individual pads and you can use one and this really helps take away like the magnetic liner and the sticky black liner from your eyes so it kind of helps get everything off without you scrubbing your eyeballs like crazy. So those are going to count as my third item. Okay, and now we're going to get into a little bit of makeup. Actually, I'm going to finish off with a little more skincare. And I love my Dar Dr. Brandt Mycoderm Abrasion Pore Exfoliating Cleanser. I didn't want to get my one out of my shower because it's a little icky. But this one is the new one. The one I have is in a black 
container with a red heart on it. And this is my go-to twice a week. I exfoliate my face with this. I love this. That was my fourth product. And my fifth product, these are my acne savers. I also use the cream that comes from Peace Out um, Acne. Now, this one is the Acne Dots. Or, this one is the Acne Dots. Comes with 40 dots. And I believe it's 30 something dollars. I'm not quite sure on Sephora. And, um, I'm actually out. <laughs> so I need to get a new one of that. And this one is for, um, it comes with one blackhead and one pore strip in four separate bags. So you get four of each. And the little strips look like this down here. One is like a long oval. And the other one goes across your nose. And they work for blackheads, um, whiteheads, cystic bumps to help you kind of drain that fluid out of any acne or pimples that are happening. I cut mine into pieces and use them for different sides of my face. And this really helps me for when they're ready to, you know, be squeezed and all that. This just helps you get rid of them a little bit faster. So this would be my fifth item. And my sixth item, cheating a little here, is my Beauty Blender Cleanser. I have another one in there that I'm almost done with. I just picked this one up, but I didn't want to bring my icky one in here. So it comes with a hand scrub pad. And then it comes with a giant cleanser. So, and this, I just leave mine in the container. I get my blender wet. Scrub it in here, clean it off on the pad if you need to, usually I just use my hands, and this will last me a good four to six months. So these are amazing. With that is my Beauty Blender, sorry they are dirty and icky, but this is my Taurus Horoscope one which I used today, and I just love these, wet or dry, they're amazing. So that's my seventh product, I may go over 20, sorry guys if I do. Okay, so getting into the makeup now, I wanted to add two tools, three tools that I love. I love my Patrick Ta fan. I never do my makeup without this. I go like this after I put on my setting spray to help make sure I don't have those little dots on my face. These Glamnetics um, eye, eye crimpers, eye curlers. I love this. This absolutely helps me curl my lashes. I can put all of my fake lash in there and give it a good curl too. And this is a recent love. This is the Huda Face Bake and Blend Brush. This is absolutely perfect for putting on powder, brushing it away. Do I do my whole center of my face and under my eyes with this and all around my cheeks too um, to make sure it really stays on. I really love this brush and so instead of using a big fluffy brush I've been setting my face with this and I really do enjoy it. Um, it doesn't work with all loose powders but it does work with a few that I really love so that works for me. Oh my gosh I totally lost track of what number that was so the beauty blenders were six. We're gonna count these three tools as seven. Okay, now into the makeup, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited into the makeup. Sorry, let me just readjust myself here. Sorry about that. So into the makeup. Ooh, okay. So my favorite brow products, we're going to count these as one. Um, my absolute favorite brow pencil is ABH. Um, the Brow Wiz. I have these three here. Sorry, the spoolies broke on the end. Um, I have ebony, which I use to make dark lines in my brows, which I use today. I have medium brown, which is my absolute favorite color. And then I have the dark brown, which I did use today too, and sometimes I just like my brows to be a little bit darker, and I just adore that. So, sorry they're a little icky, they are well loved. So there's that one. And the spoolie. So yeah, I really love those, and I do love the Benefit one, precisely my brow as well. This is in number four. It's very, it's a little more creamy than the ABH, which is fine, 
Um, it's also got a very small tip. But I just figured if you guys don't like, if you like the little creamier, I would show you that. They both work about the same to me. They're interchangeable. This I use on my brows every day. It's a Bravo Conditioning Primer. I got mine on Amazon. It's much cheaper on Amazon. And it helps my brows stay on and stay in place where I put them longer. So this is a must with any brow product that I have. So this would be number eight. Okay, so number nine, primers. Can't live without my primers. Um, I couldn't decide which one of these I wanted to do for my pore primer because I use them interchangeably. I do love the Tatcha, but this pearl primer from Benefit works equally as good for me. Either or works great, or the Tarte one in the, the jar. They all work really good for... Um, I used this one today because I couldn't find this one, <laughs> but this one's almost out. Um, this one's $54. This one's a lot cheaper at $30 and some change. So, but I love them both. I use these guys along with a, another primer, and I either use my SOS Clarins primer, which I love. This is great for acne, or I'll mix it with my Wander Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. So, I mean... I'll just kind of change it up. Maybe I'll even use all of them at once and I'll put this on my cheeks and acne marks and put this for a little more glow and then use the other one to press down on my pores in the center of my face and sometimes my smile lines. And then for concealers. Um, I have been using a lot of different concealers that I really do like. But the ones I really love, I know it's I brought it back out. I haven't used it in so long, and then I realized why I love it. Is this uh, Kylie Jenner? Excuse the green swatch of lipstick on my hand. Is in the shade Bone, and this is what I'm using today. And it brightens and covers, and it doesn't cake up at all. I absolutely love this so much. And then Ulta Beauty has a really inexpensive one. It's a full coverage liquid concealer, waterproof. And it's almost a color dupe for the Kylie. And this one is in light cool. And it's this second one here. And I love this too. It's full coverage. It's opaque. It's creamy. Um, the Kylie is a little more orange, so it can color discount some coloration discount so it can like um, get rid of more of the dark coloration but I really love both of these so of course is my powder and I couldn't decide between this is my Pat McGrath light powder um, fetish, skin fetish sublime setting powder I think and as you can see I've I got a big old dip on it I love this powder and I usually set my t-zone under my eyes with this because it covers my pores but for all around my face and for setting my cheeks and I love this for under the eyes is my Huda Beauty pound cake foundation so I couldn't decide because I really do like both of these um, sometimes I like to mix them together this is the Salzburg 3.5 NARS foundation and I use this a lot. This is a great like soft matte. Love this one. But I also like to mix it with my Rare Beauty foundation. Um, I don't like the Rare Beauty on their own but I really love these two together which is what I have on my face today is this foundation mixed with a little bit of this foundation and some VDL because I'm just trying to use that foundation up. But yeah, I really like these mixed together. Contour. I love this contour wand from um, Charlotte Tilbury. And I love Charlotte Tilbury's bronzer. So we're gonna call both of these 13. If I had to pick just one, it's going to be this bronzer. This is my absolute favorite bronzer. I mean, it's huge. I've got a little dip in it. You can't really see it because it's so big. Yay! 
my Glamnetics lashes and of course their liner and today I am wearing OSC which I am wearing today and I have OMW on my way these are so cute these are my two favorite styles. OSC is my absolute favorite. Okay, so blush. I absolutely love this blush. It's what is on my face today. It's a little worn off. It's been a while. It's So Natural Glow Play Blush. So Natural is the color, and it's a glow play blush. And as you can see, I have used quite a bit. and got a little dip in there. And this is the swatch here. I absolutely love this formula. I have another one, but this is my absolute favorite blush right now because of the color. And also the texture is very nice. My Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Today I am wearing Mr. Kisses, but these are my four favorites. We have Super You is a new nude from Charlotte Tilbury. And my favorites changed all the time. I love all of them. Mr. Kisses, what is on today? Um, Wedding Bells. These three are the limited edition from the spring collection, I think it was. And First Dance. And I absolutely love all, th all of these. The formula is my favorite, the Matte Revolution formula. I my highlighters. And the two I've picked are... This is a new one, new packaging, not a new formula. It's just this particular one is new. I have the other one in my drawer, and it's just broken and stuff, so I never wanted to bring it out, but this is one of my absolute favorite highlights. And don't forget about Jeffree Star Sarcophagus, but I talk about that all the time. So this is Vanilla Quartz by Becca, and this is what I'm wearing today. It is absolutely stunning. I love it. And of course, I am in love with my new Dior highlight, and this is in 002 Glitz. I absolutely love this. You guys, sunscreen. Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tart Guard. Sorry, my bottle is a mess because I use this every day, and I absolutely love this. And how could I forget my Cinema Secret Brush Cleaner? I did discover this last year. However, this is my most used, one of my most used products for 2020. I absolutely love this product. So this is my 20th item. Is my Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. And I wanted to have a couple honorable mentions here. I wanted to mention the... Sunset Rose Pot, which is recent to me. A couple honorable mentions here is my Sunset Rose Pot, which is new to me, but I absolutely love this. This shade is stunning. It's beautiful. Let me just... And you don't need a lot at all. And it is right here. And also... I love this balm from Huda Beauty because you can tap it on with a wand and it, it is refreshing without smearing your lipstick everywhere and this is in blush. Hydra Plumping Lip Balm and I love this because of the wand that makes it excellent. Also newer to me is this Florence by Mills Look Alive Under Eye Balm which I used today and I'm absolutely adoring. So. These are my 20, plus a couple extras, so let me know, you guys, what are your 20 favorite products of 2020? Do you have any product in 2020 that just stands out to you and you go, oh my god, I really just love that product? Let me know below. I'd love to try them out. Maybe you have a holy girl that I'd love to try. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Please do remember to watch the rest of the beautiful creators in this collab. I'd really appreciate it. I will list a playlist 
here in the cards along with links here or below in the description box and I hope you find some real gems to watch and follow because I love each and every one of them so much. So thank you very much for watching me today and for your time. I appreciate you more than you could ever know. And you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye now.